Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today we're going to go over 10 redstone contraptions that you need to build in your world. Now some of the types of contraptions I've included in the list are mini games, storage solutions and doors. Now before we start, I'll let you know that there is tutorials for every single contraption that you see in this video today. So if you see something that you like, there will be a link in the description and you can go see the tutorial on how to build it. But anyway, let's get into this. Coming in at number one, we've got the Water Dunk mini game. And if you haven't heard of this game before, it's basically where you've got to hit a target and then that will cause your friend, or should I say crush, uh, to fall into the water. But one thing I've had to change with this game is to make it a little bit harder. So as you can see, that piston there will retract at random times and the aim is to shoot your bow and arrow through that hole and once you do the piston will retract and in this case the villager has fallen into the water. Now this is a cool mini game you can play with your friends. Coming in at number two we've got the armor swapper and this provides a fun and unique way to store your armor stands. Basically what it does is it switches these three armor stands around so as you can see I am pressing a button here and in our storage we've got a gold, diamond and iron armor set. Now once you've made your selection you can go ahead and take the armor off the armor stand and put it on. Now this is a cool way to store it instead of having a bunch of armor stands all around. They are all in one location. Now coming in at number three we've got something quite simple and this is a 2x2 two two piston doors. Now this one is more aimed at the new players that haven't really got into redstone because this should really be your first redstone contraption that you ever create. Um, I definitely suggest you check out the tutorial for this one if you are new. Now basically how it works is you step on the pressure plate, the pistons retract and you're able to walk through. It's basically just a, another alternative to the wooden door. Coming in at number four, we've got a shop-like contraption, and this is the vending machine. Now this is a great contraption to build on a server as the player gets to choose what they want to purchase and you get the money in return, so it's a win-win. Now how this works is you simply use the arrow in the middle to point to the item you would like, then simply place, in this case, emeralds into the hopper below and the items will be placed into the dropper above. Not much more I can say about this contraption, but I definitely recommend you build it. Coming in at number 5, we've got a contraption that will help keep your items safe, and this is a combination lock. One great thing about this contraption is that it does not require many resources to build, so you won't be uh, pulling out your pockets, uh, figuring out where all your resources have gone. Now how this combination lock works is by setting the levers to their correct position, so the lock for this door is down, up, down, down, up, up down and as you can see the door has now opened. Now this is 100% configurable so you don't have to have the lock that is displayed in this video. You can set it to whatever you like and as you, as you can see as I set the combination lock wrong the door will not open but once I set it uh, correct um, it will open again. Now coming in at number 6 is the next step up to the combination lock which is a password locked door. Now why this is better is because a password has a lot more combinations than those levers did so um, it is much more secure and will keep your items a lot safer. Now how this contraption work is it uses a renamed piece of paper and in this case I've used the lowercase word cheese and as you can see the door has now opened I can put my items inside. There is also a button inside which you can press which opens and closes the door and then you can just press the button and quickly run out and the door will close. Coming in number 7 I've got a great little utility which you should build in your single player world and this is a mob indicator. Basically what it does is it lets you know whether hostile mobs are spawning or not so when it is on the green it means that it's safe to go outside but when it's on the red that means that hostile mobs are spawning and you could potentially die. Now I know a lot of people build their bases inside a cave and because it's in a cave you don't really get to see whether the sun is up or not so building this indicator can help you to determine whether you can go outside of your cave or not to explore. Coming in at number 8 we got a contraption that takes out the tedious work involved to create potions and this is the brewing station. Now this design is similar to the vending machine in that it uses the same item selector. Now how the brewing station works is firstly if we want to refill the brewing stand with bottles we put them at the front there and press that button. If we want to send an ingredient to the brewing stand we simply just use the left or the right um, item selectors and then press the button 
closest to it. So right now we are creating a water breathing potion and then we're just going to extend it with, uh, or we're going to make a splash potion with the uh, sulfur there. I shouldn't really need that because I can breathe under water already. I'm a crayfish. Now the two last contraptions are a little bit more advanced but coming in at number 9 is a unique storage solution and this is a minecart storage system. Now maybe if you're trying to create a really cool high-tech base, this would be a cool little contraption you could build in it. Now how this minecart storage system works is basically we call minecarts by pressing a button and then it will come to this little hole here. We can get out our items and then to send it back, simply press the button to the right there and it will send it back to its position. Now the really cool thing about this design is it is extendable. So as you can see, I've only got three in this video and you can make it to as many as you like. Now it's not super efficient, but it's sure to impress your friends if you showed them. Here we are, last one, number 10, and coming in we have a gambling machine. This would have to be one of my favourite contraptions I've ever built, not just because it's a gambling machine, but mainly because the design of it is so simple, like, you'd think that something like this is quite complicated, but um, if you check out the tutorial of it, it is quite simple. But anyway, now how this gambling machine works is quite simple, all we've got to do is put a piece of iron into the hopper at the front there and basically whenever all three lights are turned on it means you win a reward and as you can see we haven't won yet but then once we've got all three on a diamond will be dispensed and we have won our prize. So we're coming to the end of this video and wow that actually took a very long time to make. I'm currently sitting here at 2am finishing off this video and uh, recording this outro right now so I'd appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. Now tell me in the comments what is your favourite contraption, obviously you know what mine is, mine is number 10, the gambling machine, let me know what yours is by commenting um, the number below. Um, also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because this is quite fun making this and even though it took a while to make it, it was still quite fun. Alright that's enough silly outro stuff, I'll see you guys later, bye.